subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel three clearly white first impressions that phone is so white it kind of matches the background almost it's still a little bit you know but it almost blends in right with the background so it's a super white device here now the first thing i know a lot of people are going to be asking me is what's up with the defective chips you got on that phone because i post on the community poll also i posted on the twitter and as well as instagram and after i put my apps on i was wiping down the phone just to you know get everything looking clean i always do that when i get a new phone for review because i want them to look good for the videos and i i noticed right here there's a chip on the device so i'm pretty sure you can see that right there now it is very minor but that is unacceptable for a brand new device now in person it's really really small and a lot of people probably could get over this but you got to remember when you're investing 800 900 a thousand dollars for your phone that thing better be pristine out of the box i also got a little chip there was a little chip right there so it's almost as if the people who were doing the housing of this particular model were just rushing it there's another one right there i'm not sure if you can see it it's like a little chip by the display it's really small but i'm a type of person who notices these little details so for me this one is likely going back there's another one somewhere on the body not sure if it's necessary to show you that you can just go ahead and check my twitter or check my instagram to see all the photos where i did get some chips on here but i'm not going to set this entire impressions on that i did contact google they did say they would have me a phone within five to ten business days they're sincerely sorry about this i get it manufacturing defects they happen and google is not known to have the best quality control so i'm not actually too surprised by this but if you're listening google we need to step it up there in the quality control because that's not cool especially considering you can walk into you know an apple store you can walk into a best buy buy a samsung and you're going to get a pristine device right out of the box so that's something we need to work on here with these pixels so when you get the device it basically is going to give you the same box that you had from last year with the google pixel 2 that's why i didn't call this an unboxing it's a pretty you know it's not a boring box it looks pretty nice actually but it's basically what you've seen last year so i don't think it was necessary to go ahead and unbox basically the same device but what is nice is that they have these nice colors and it seems like every box seems to have a different color on the rear it's pretty cool stuff here on the casing but what did come in the box was a bunch of manuals so you can see you have a ton of manuals right here that came in the box you do have a sim card tool and you could see right there it just flew away we also do have some pixel it looks like some pixel usb earbuds so if i open this up right here you can see it did come with these earbuds right here other than that it did come with some stickers which you see people trolling on twitter already uh, team pixel stickers here kind of like what apple gives you when their box is an apple sticker so that's that and then inside the casing you did get a charger a usb-c and you also get a fast charger and you also do get some other attachments here you do get a dongle to 3.5 millimeter and you also get a usb-c to it looks like a older usb port there for transferring files and things like that so that's all that's in the box so i didn't want to discuss that too much okay so the first thing i want to talk about is my first impressions on design it's like a mini pixel 2 xl so if you've seen the pixel 2 xl before this phone is like a mashup between the smaller pixel 2 that came before it and this guy so let's take a look at the pixel 2 xl you can see just a mini version of that and if you thought the pixel 2 xl was your more favorite phone of last year but you thought it was a little too large this is going to hit the sweet spot for you on the pixel 3 right here you can see on the back it does not have the black panda look anymore like before it's all white up at the top but it does distinguish itself from last year's phone or else it would look like completely identical from last year now you do have a little minty green home button there so a nice little visual flare and it's all glass now on this design on the rear whereas these were more like a plastic feel on the back so this does now support chi wireless charging here it's kind of got this matte etch kind of feeling and it feels really smooth but very slippery so keep that in mind this one definitely will need a case right away overall it's about the same footprint though as the pixel 2 the smaller edition you could see about the same height and about the same width they just basically stretched the display and it's also a little bit heavier you can you could feel that too it feels like a little weightier in the pocket a little bit more sturdy feeling than the pixel 2 but the pixel 2 was a featherweight this one's still a featherweight but not quite as light 
as the pick. So 248 grams, I think this one was 143. So that's definitely felt a little bit, but you can see no longer with the chunky bezels on the Pixel 3. So it's a nice update there. You still have your stereo speakers, which is why you have such a large chin on this device. And you do have your USB-C here at the bottom. We do have ourselves a SIM card tray and there's your camera, your 12.2 megapixel. We have our flash right there and a fingerprint sensor, which is cool because you can still swipe down from the top. I do like that aspect. Microphone hole up there. Volume rocker off to the right. And again, that home button off to the left, nothing. My first take on build quality though, is that it feels, this sides actually are aluminum, but they feel kind of like polycarbonate on the side. I remember that older like plasticky polycarbonate feel. That's how they kind of feel on this white model anyway. On the side, the back feels like an etched matte material. It kind of feels similar to last year's quite honestly, but still a little bit more premium feeling. The top is a little bit similar to last year as well. Actually, it's almost identical with that glass at the top and it just feels a lot more comfortable and premium in the hand versus the pixel 2 of last year but it's not quite as light that's about what i got to say here for this but the reach is a little higher for people it's going to be a little bit higher to reach up if you have small hands because it has a taller display but it feels more narrow side to side so if you're going side to side i think you'll be happy with the pixel 3. taking a look at the pixel 3 next to an iphone 10 you can see it's about the same size there but the iphone 10 does stretch more display but does give you the notch you can see right there similar footprint to this device but it's a lot lighter than the iphone 10 or the 10s and it's actually much more narrow than those devices you can see it's just more narrow than that device so i think you're really going to like the pixel three if you like these smaller more manageable smartphones so i want to talk about the displays out of the box google did put it on the adaptive mode which is kind of like it's punchy saturated mode which is nice so we don't have any issues and complaints about the display this year boosted natural is still there but they leave it in adaptive mode this smaller one is manufactured by lg but it looks much better than the display of last year on the pixel 2 xl even though that one was also manufactured by lg and see if we get any blue shift so you can see not quite as much as on the left there. So a much improved display here for the Pixel 3, even though it's manufactured by LG still, this one is improved. So you got a better display overall versus last year's Pixel. My first impressions in terms of the software is that you don't have the option to go back to the old home button on this device. So you have to use the gestures on the Pixel 3. It is Android 9 Pie, very simple, clean software by Google. And it's not really stock Android anymore. It's more like a Google experience if we go into the settings menu you could see it's colorful and it's got digital well-being adaptive battery modes and things like that so it is loaded with the features from google you also do have your squeeze assistant here and i noticed that even on the lightest mode it's actually harder to squeeze the newer ones so if you were complaining last year about accidental squeezes too often on your pixel this one is a lot more it takes a lot more squeeze to get it to activate so you will like that the haptics are also a lot stronger on this new device when you do hit the haptic buttons here they do have a really strong vibration so i did notice that on my first impressions as well i wanted to take a second to talk about the wallpapers as well the pixel 2 comes with some nice new wallpapers i always love when we get new wallpapers for devices and you could see that it's loaded with all the colorful beautiful wallpaper selections of your choice this phone gives you more new wallpapers than most devices will give you so i do like that and it really shows off those better newer displays for the Pixel series. So I just wanna to touch on performance just a little bit. This comes with a Snapdragon 845, puts it in line with every other flagship this year. And Adreno 630 does come to this device as well as only four gigabytes of RAM. And that's really the only thing I don't like about what I'm seeing in terms of what this is gonna do in performance is the four gigabytes of RAM because the Pixel 2 and 2XL did get a little bit slower over time. And I think that's mostly due to the RAM department. So we're gonna to have to see how this one plays out but overall, I think that it's going to be a little bit faster than last year's Pixel 2 because it's a Snapdragon 845, but it's not going to be a breakthrough chipset like a 7 nanometer you're going to see in the Mate 20 Pro or Apple's iPhone 10s, for example. But the optimization of the software should help it to perform rather well in comparison. So on the rear, we have a 12.2 megapixel camera. It's still a slight bump, so you definitely want a case if you don't want that scratching up a little bit and this device does have 4k 30 it doesn't shoot in 4k 60 so in terms of the camera software i have noticed that it's just a lot easier to operate this software and i took a bunch of samples so let's go ahead and take a look at those in a second super res zoom is on here and the burst mode is ridiculously fast on this device look at this burst wow 
I mean, it just blows through these photos like it's nothing. Super wide selfie camera, dual front cameras up here, eight megapixels. That's why the notch is on the larger phone, but if they were able to squeeze it in there, I'm not sure why they weren't able to do that with the larger one. Portrait mode edge detection looks awesome so far. I did one selfie with the front camera and it still worked just as good as I'm sure the rear will work. Go ahead and check out these samples. Let me know your thoughts if this 12.2 megapixel camera has improved over last year's. So here's some more video for the Pixel 3. You can kind of see how it does perform with the stabilization. Let's go ahead and bring it over here. And you can see there we go. So I want to give you a front facing video test while running to kind of see how it does perform with the stabilization. And that's basically how it does do. So my first impressions on battery, I was using it all night last night and it was draining really slow. So it's looking promising. I can't give you a full impression yet or a full review on the battery just yet, but it's looking pretty strong with a, over a 2,900 milliamp hour in this small device. I'm pretty sure this one's easily going through the day. So this should be all day battery life here for the Pixel 3. Google's saying that these speakers are up to 40% louder. And I definitely hear that. They're much louder than last year's pixels. And they sound much better as well. Stereo speakers, so they fire right at you. If you like that, you're going to love the Pixel 3. But it doesn't have a headphone jack, which is, well, we're just going to have to get used to that because it's not coming back anytime soon. So is it enough to outsell the competition? And that remains to be seen. The Pixel 3 is definite upgrade over the Pixel 2, but it's nothing like groundbreakingly new over last year phones. It's kind of like a refinement. It seems like every smartphone manufacturer this year did a refinement year, like the Galaxy S9, a refinement over the Galaxy S8, iPhone XS, refinement over the iPhone 10. Google Pixel 3, refinement over Google Pixel 2. So it's like a refinement year for every manufacturer. I think 2019 is where we're gonna see some real changes. Overall, the camera is looking stellar, better than last year for sure. It's more manageable with a similar design as the Pixel 2 XL, and it's cheaper than the Pixel 3 XL. I think it's a pretty darn good smartphone. I just might have to send mine back for a few of those chips. I'm not gonna start no chip gate, scuff gate, not just with one unit. I mean, if a bunch of people say this, then I will come with a video and share my stories. I do got the proof. So if more people come out with this, I might consider sharing more in detail about that. But if you wanna see the pictures, go ahead and check my community post to go check my Twitter, Instagram, it's all there. You can check out more in detail, zoom in and see the scuffs a little bit closer. Anyway, what are your thoughts on the Pixel 3? Are you picking one up? Are you put off by the fact that I got a lemon? Are you just not picking one up because you don't want a Pixel 3? You like the competition better? Let us know your thoughts down below and any video ideas, suggestions you want to see on the Pixel 3, 3XL. Let me know. I might be a little bit delayed because I got to send this phone back, but I will be taking in that feedback. 